Thank God, boy. Look behind those freaking uh, feeders, or I don't know if this is exactly what they call, but it's farming. You know what I'm talking about? It's farming, and uh, I can thank God for the small blessings, though. You be thankful for the small blessings. I'm much, I, I look, I just delivered. Y'all know I just did the military tape just delivered in freaking Canada. And when I say, dude, that was different. I was up there at nation ramps nation ramps so that's why i was to deliver this bull crap and i picked this up man from there and when i say dude it was cold as ever dude i'm talking about every time i step foot every time i step foot out that freaking truck dude i was mad i was mad then i'm talking about like they kept like adjusting stuff i was at like three hours and then look they they just put it on her and bent up these people ramps and stuff but look that's not my doing all i did was scrap it down and i took off then my freaking tires being that it was negative like 25 30 degrees dude all my tires seemed like they just like deflated everywhere i go man everywhere i go what's up man <laughs> Yeah, I love life, y'all. It looked like he pulling up. But all I gotta do is take this and all, three scraps, and I'll be ready to roll. Three freaking scraps. Let's talk to Big Dog. Hey, hey, bud. Hey, bud, what's up? Is you, this is yours? Pardon me? Is this yours? Yeah, I work over there at the co-op, but I, no, that's a ramp, ain't it? Heck yeah, you guys want that. You got a special first stop, too. I gotta take the other two down to Texas. I have no idea what we're getting a ramp for. <laughs> the boss man said he need a ramp. You guys getting the one on top. So I'm about to get ready and uh, pull those three straps off and edge protection. Well, and just hang on before you yank your straps because I have no idea about it and I don't know how we're gonna get, well, we got a payloader here. Yeah. It took two guys to unload it, so if you guys got a big one, you probably can do it, but I know two guys, it took two um, forklifts to like, you know, get on each side yeah. and make sure it's level and all that kind of stuff, so, yeah. yeah. All we got is just one forklift and a scoot loader, and that ain't gonna be yeah. that. I have no idea what we're getting a ramp for. But... <laughs> How long you been working here? 18 years. 18 years, you should know something. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's Monday. I don't know Jack. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. So the lady. Be at the farmer's co op, right? Yes, sir. The lady. Um, I just spoke to the lady inside oh, and okay. I was parked across the street and she told me to come over here. The manager told me okay. they, they will be unloading me right here. Yeah. So it's just park right here in front of the building and guys should start pulling up. Okay, well. I have no clue, so. Yes, sir. Sit tight. Yes, sir. You, uh, you got a, a Silverado. Yeah. You like Chevy? Yeah. You a good man. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good guy right there, man. I feel good, man. All that cold weather, and I've been out here at least, you know what I'm saying, five to ten minutes, and I can withstand it. I feel great. I just want to thank God. Big guy, I just want to thank you, man, for all the blessings you've given me. You know, I still got to earn my lungs. You know, I still can stand on my own two feet. I have my family, my family's in good health. And I have my I have my supporters. They still rock with me, you know, throughout all the time that I done took time off or been going through some hardship, they still here with me. So, you know, I just thank you for all your blessings you've given me and my family and also my supporters family. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Coming off, son. First one. 
You coming off first. It ain't your choice. It's mine. And guess what? It's my truck. So you ain't got nothing to say to me. <laughs> Something to say? Say it loud. I feel good, y'all. I feel amazing. So I was gonna take out just, you know, two scraps. But the guy told me, you know, if you already know you're supposed to be here, take all of them out. So that's what I'm doing. I got the first stop is up here and right, I think it's Milligan. What's that? Y'all see that over there. Milligan. Y'all been good to me. Farmers, co-op done. You know? Right down with it. That's what I need. That's what I like. He fall down with it too. That's it. That's it. Hey, don't let me down. One last one. One more. Don't let me down. Come on. Oh, look at God, boy. <laughs> Life don't get no better. I'm gonna tell y'all something else. Big clip. Need wash. Bad. We need you washing, man, but I'm gonna tell you something else. Uh. What I just spent. <laughs> Y'all know. Yeah! Nebraska, what's up, man? What's up? What's up? What's up, y'all? So, Nebraska, while I'm sitting here, you know, about to get ready to get unloaded, I just thought. It'll be a perfect time, you know what I'm talking about, to tell y'all a little something that's going on, right? And to give you guys some advice, you get what I'm saying? You know, for the people that, you know, um, might be going through certain things in life, you know, or just might just need just an uplift, you get what I'm saying? Now, I'm, I'm, I'm nowhere near perfect, right? Nowhere near perfect. I've had my faults, I've had my problems, and... You know, I just learned along the way. You guys get what I'm saying? Do you guys remember my little brother? Hey, God, yeah, get it. Yeah. <laughs> for the people that's been um, watching me for a little while, you know, uh, my little brother, uh, my little brother stayed with me back when I first started truck. You know, I took him under my wing for, uh, oh shoot, probably about two years two years and he graduated from uh, where I was staying at. And also, hey, hey, bro. Hey, hey. What do you think? What's your name? I'm Ryan. Ryan. Nice to meet you. Uh, okay. So, we, we got we got this first reference, you guys. Okay. And uh, you guys special. And I got two more going to Houston. So, I just unscrapped. All I got to do is take that bar right there and knock these two down. You got to no, but okay. when we was unload, when they was loading me, but uh, it took two of them guys, two forklifts or whatever. So hopefully you guys. Well, we got we got a payloader. Okay. If that's gonna be the easiest. Okay. Okay. I don't know where's kind of the center, probably closer up to here. I would think so. I would think so, man. You guys are experts, so you know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> last things I had to pull off, y'all. That was the last thing I had to pull off. These guys up here, man, in Nebraska, super nice, man. I like guys like this. I like them a lot. So, if the, for the people that, you know, been rocking with me, you guys know that, you know, I took my brother under my wing, you know, to make sure that, you know, um, he stay out of trouble or, you know, people just don't, you know, bother him. You get what I'm saying? He's not the confrontational kind of guy, but he will, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, defend himself, he pushed against the wall. Not saying he a uh, punk or nothing like that, but I tried to, you know what I'm saying, teach him like, stay out of trouble. And then if you living in Memphis or whatever, sometimes trouble finds you. I don't know if you guys remember that video. So, he got into, you got, he got into a little, of a, a little bit of a, a pickle, if you would say, you know. The school, the school sent me a letter to the house, right? Saying that, well, you know, a, a, a class or two, he's been struggling in. Man, look, I'm not trying to baby you or whatever, but I've been in your shoes. And certain things in life, 
certain times in life you gotta you really have to dig deep you get what i'm saying you really have to dig deep and you really have to find it within yourself to like go 110 percent man now i'm not perfect and i want the smartest i graduated with like around it was around 3.0 something like that man but i also utilized the people around me you get what i'm saying i utilized the people around me and i also went the extra mile sometimes you know not all the time but sometimes i took i, I, I went the extra mile and I stayed in that freaking library, man. When things got hard for me, I went to the library and I stayed. I'm gonna tell you something. My wife, my wife will tell y'all this, man. She call me. I'm walking my butt to the library, and I tell you, you already know the time limit. I'm telling y'all, I don't be in there no more than two hours. Everything. I don't care if I have paper stacked up to here, but I'm gonna go in there for two hours because that's my attention span. You get what I'm saying? I have like a, you know, my attention span is not that long. I'm going to tell you guys that, and that's the truth. So, I can give some work or I can give a, a, a assignment two good hours. Two good hours, and I'm like, look, that's it for today. That's it. That's all I can give them. Two good hours, and I'm gone. But guess what? I do it day by day. You know what I'm saying? I break it down. You know, so that's what I was telling him. I'm like, sometimes, man, you got to be able to break it down. You got to be able to, you know what I'm saying? If something is harder for you, utilize the people around you. And, you know what I'm saying, break it down. Split it up. You ain't got to try to cram, but, you know, just try to, you know what I'm saying, break it down so that it can, it, it'll be easier for you. And that's how life can be. You get what I'm saying? Certain things come up in life where it's harder for you or, you know, you got a goal in mind. Dude, break it down. Because... Getting it, you know, being able to succeed in life, it don't all happen all at once. You just can't cram life all into, you know, one day. You know, sometimes I just gotta come down hard on because he just, sometimes he could be a knucklehead and he, he, he think he got it figured out. A great kid, great kid, you know, uh, you know, in sports, and he hardly ever give us problems. He's quiet, you know, he do what he do, but it's like his focus is not 100% on school. And a lot of you guys might be watching my videos is focus is not a hundred percent on getting into your own truck or you know just anything in life and sometimes you just gotta break it down you know what I'm saying and take it a day at a time you know what I'm saying you can't look at the you know then the overall path that you just fit up pick up the whole pie stuff in your mouth you gotta slice that bastard <laughs> you know what I'm saying you gotta slice that bastard take your freaking time and look it will work out what we doing, man? <laughs> what we freaking doing, man? I just had to tell you guys that, man. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we just need that little extra motivation. You know, we need that extra little talk from someone. You know, I'm not perfect. You know, I don't claim to be. But, you know, certain things I went through in life that got me to where I am. And um, I just want to share that with you guys, man. We chuck it, man. We chuck it. So until next time. <laughs>